Welcome to Switch It Up. We're coming to you from this wonderful, amazing place called Philadelphia in an odd... <laughs> We're starting in an odd spot. We are starting in a really odd spot. We are in East State Penitentiary, so we're gonna go and see what Philly has to offer. But we thought, you know what? What better place to start than an 1800s penitentiary? penitentiary. Why not? Yeah, why, I mean, that's <laughs> why wouldn't you? Yeah, so there's the city back there, <laughs> but we can't. We're stuck in here. It's like you have the, <laughs> the new versus the old, and we're kind of maybe that should be what this is new versus old. I don't know. We'll bring you this a wonderful place here in a little bit, but right now we should roll the intro. We should. A man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road. They didn't know where they would go, but it's gotta be better than staying home. They switched it up. They switched it up. talk about East Penitentiary in Philadelphia, Sheila. How old is this little blue prison? Oh gosh. That was a good test for her. It was a good test. It was 18, I know they stopped using it in 1971. 1826. 1826. So That's if it ever showed up in like a Trivia Pursuit question, now you guys know the answer. It's almost 200 years old. Yes. How tall are the walls? 30 feet above ground, 10 feet below. Oh see, look at that. It's been it's been very interesting to see the different. You know what I thought was interesting was that it was a penitentiary when they first started. It was created for silence. Yes. So the walls, even inside, are 20 inches thick, separating each uh, cell. And even the guards wore wool socks over their shoes, so it was just silent. And they everybody was isolated. They didn't get together for meals. They didn't like our current prison system. They were isolated. It'd be madness. That's how you, yes. I think you would go absolutely crazy. So much quiet. Then later on they added radios and they got they, to get together for dining and that they, sort of thing. They ran out of room, so then they started doubling people up. Kind of like our current prison system. <laughs> but it is pretty awesome to, to tour and just go around. And to see that it's right here in the middle of Philadelphia is kind of an odd thing too. Well, it too. was a mile, I believe it was like, it was a mile away from everything. Yeah, it's not that and way not anymore. Not anymore. The whole city's built up around it. <laughs> Let's take a look inside a cool and go kind of walk building. around. Caught behind the Venetian blinds, how to reach for the city lines. This ain't where I belong. Hey, look at me, man, what I become. I've been running east, looking for something, digging deep since '99. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight. It's time for me to go Burn all bridges All I know I got lost along the way Fell between the fall Pulling stitches Time to let go So come what may Don't Have a toast for those lost old eyes. And my crooked shell. 
Is Eastern State Penitentiary haunted? Well. Sheila, I have brought a device to clear this up. This would happen to be the ghost hunter device still. <laughs> is it this official? Bilbo, switch this is it the up? official switch, switch it up ghost hunting device. <laughs> it is an EMF detector. So we're gonna turn it on. And first thing it's gonna do, I'm gonna switch it over for temperature. So it's 89.9 .9 degrees in here. And then this right here regulates the EMF. So we're gonna see if there's any hauntings in here. There's no power, there's no electricity. No, nothing. 0, 0.00. 0. See this? We'll see this in Salem too. But... Nothing. I got nothing. Look, see. Now, if this went off right now, you'd probably pee your pants. <laughs> we're gonna go over here to this cell. It does look ominous, though, doesn't it? It does have a. a I wouldn't want to have to be here. Yeah. Apparently, ghosts only come out at night. <laughs> That's what I think I've seen. You can only find them at night. See? Nothing. This would glow red and beep. Here, I'll show you. Let's see, where's my cell phone? Yeah, use your cell phone so you can see. Oh, maybe it's not working. Maybe I have it set on the wrong setting. Maybe no. my phone's not haunted. No. Maybe your phone is. There it went. That's your phone. I know. iPhone versus Android. <laughs> well, I gotta show them it works. There it goes. So see how it's going regulating. Ah, where's the, there it is. So just so you know, the cell phone you're using is putting off electromagnetic field. It's probably burning your brain. Obviously your butt. Oh, my butt. So we got nothing though. Let's see. Got nothing. So apparently this is like eight foot by 12 foot. Can you imagine that's it? That's all you got? Eight foot by 12 foot? Yeah, it's called RV life. <laughs> <laughs> Have a toast for those lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Is falling apart right now I'm bleeding I'm easy kid Gonna leave it all behind It's kind of a cool depiction, isn't it? These are some of the people that were murdered by the prisoners that were sent here. And the artist did these creative drawings of them. I know I got lost along the way. Fell between the four wind stitches. Time to let go. Listen to how quiet it is. <laughs> Put the whole socks on somebody. What's in there? transient room. Let's take a look. It's like you're in a parallel universe. Down is up and up is down. character of this whole thing like you've got all this patina and they're showing some of the things that happened just amazing Busting out of prison. So we're busting out. 
never to come back. The reason why Al Capone was in there was because he had a concealed weapon. Like, That's only at one time. The other time was a conviction for tax evasion or something, I think. He was sentenced to a year for a concealed weapon. I have a lot of change. Yes, kind of. Depends on what state you're in. <laughs> yeah. As far as it goes, though, that was a fun tour. Yeah. Coming at night would be different, a whole different atmosphere, whole but different experience. the history is actually pretty cool. Now, I could have shot all kinds of footage of cell after cell after cell, and that gets kind of boring after a while, so that was the goal, is just to kind of give you the flavor. But this square right here, like when you look on a map, it's weird to see the whole city grow around this thing. It's kind of cool. Where are we off to now? Uh -huh. I think we're in Philly, so we should find... <laughs> oh no, not the cliche. A the Philly cli cheesesteak. The cliche Philly cheesesteak. When in Fabulous. Rome, Todd. When in Rome. We're in Philly, not in Rome, though. Okay, when in Philly, eat a Philly. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I did not realize, because I was so busy driving and parking, I was, I was like, we're hungry, and I had like, no idea where she was taking us. So we're gonna have a Philly cheesesteak after all, in Philly. Yeah, and there's four right here. Like that I feel one. like yeah. I wanna bust in like Elf, and just say, you did it! You made the best cheesesteak in the world! All right, we're gonna choose one. Which one? What's your reviews say? Oh, the reviews say Sunny's. There's the review. more reviews and it's five stars. So let's Sunny's it is. Leave open the gate. Don't turn off the light. I'm coming home. good. It's different. I don't know if it's just the spices or what it is. I got mine loaded, of course. She got hers plain. You like it? Yeah. I don't, are you like blown away? Um, no. <laughs> It's kind of got a tangy taste for some reason. Maybe it's because it's loaded and has every, all the veggies in it. Okay, tummy's full. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. That's a cool little bar. Look at that, that's neat. Beer garden. Tummy's full and now we're off to some history. What, what history? Don't know. Some sort of history. Yeah. Some, some of our beginning, beginning okay, history. Some you doing the movie yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's as it seems in the photo. Nothing is as sweet going so long. Nowhere I can ramble or go. I change my mind. It's slow. I guess one of our stops on our Philadelphia tour is Betsy Ross's house. What? This is one of our stops on our tour of Philly. Do you want to tour her house? No. I just wanted to see where it was. I don't. I don't really. It's okay. Yeah. Fun fact, you know, I read was she produced United States flags for 50 years. Not just like one and done. Like, hey, here's the design. You guys take it and run with it. No, she did it. She was an upholstery person. Yes, she lost her husband, John, and so then she started making flags. Okay, so just think of this for a minute. 50 years. Wouldn't you just get tired of it? It's like, oh my gosh, they want more flags. Well, Here, I, uh, we'd add the state, so then she had to redesign kind of how uh, the stars were. She, I could just imagine when she got up there, she was like, I'm so sick of these flags. 
<laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah, I paid the bills. She was able to buy this mansion and uh, live right here on this main street. So that's yeah. Todd history. Well, I mean, that's how she did it. One stripe at a time. She had to earn her stripes. <laughs> Yeah, I think you'd get away with some amazing history right here. Sheila. What? Share some amazing history. I'm gonna get you some light. Get you get you there you some exposure. Come on, hit them. Hit them with this amazing history. Look at this. This, this one's for sale. It's on the auction. This is the oldest continuously lived on street in the from the American colonies era. That one, 1703. So people have been living on this street since the 1700s. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. It's kind of cute. It's not very long. No, it's it's not very long. That one's been on the auction block. Yeah. Could make it an Airbnb. Got the old cobblestone, brick line, cute. I think what's crazy is like, look at this picture. It's like you could see back in the time how the steeple of this church, so all the city's kind of grown around it, but you could see it from the harbor. So we're like walking through history. This is where several signers of the Declaration of Independence used to come in. To worship. To worship, and some of them are buried right here on the property. And so this is, it, we have like, we've gone to all these different places. It's like, walking through history in different from dc to boston to here to, it's like seeing all this stuff it's, it's just it's just weird like to think to think all the places you read about or heard about or did whatever we're doing it all this year and then you see like the old cobblestone streets and the oldest you know that oldest alleyway in the colonies and betsy ross making the flag and uh, all the, all the Paul Revere's grave and where he went and all the things. We're seeing all the things. Where we're walking through history. Yeah, and Let's it's just, I think it's hard history. to digest. That's all. It is. Well, if I could have any superpower. Oh, here comes her superpower. I know this because I'm her husband. Share with them your superpower that you would love to have. You know, sometimes people say, can I have any superpower? Like I, if you could fly or be yeah. invisible or talk Read to animals. Or Read, yeah, this is Sheila's superpower she would I really would want. I would love to have a superpower where I could just touch something from history, like just to touch that ground and see it come alive and see the history and things that, like, choose a time frame. It's like a time machine. I need a time machine. Hmm. That would be very cool. You wouldn't actually go there. You would just be a, 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 a like looking through a window or a glass, seeing everything right, happen. Right. I wouldn't actually like go in because that'd be scary. Yeah. Well, I wish you could do that too, because maybe you could see with the lottery and we could win that. That is like <laughs> the dumbest reason to want that superpower. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? <laughs> they did a really good job building buildings 200 years ago, she, actually. Sheila's still on the hunt for the movie. Oh, I still love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're living out national treasure, apparently, in our vlogs, because now we're here. Well, we're, and and the scene in the movie is there up in there and they look down to look at the wall to find the glasses the special glasses yes and then they got to get the encryption off the liberty bell but it's been moved because it's not up there anymore so it's we're over here we're standing outside the liberty bell looking at 
this wonderful independent yeah. salt. What's important about independent salt, Todd? I don't know. Some things were signed, some documents, <laughs> something. Yeah, something like that. Some documents just were signed. A, it was nothing piece, really important. Just a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. Just a piece of paper. <laughs> no, we come from the church that was down the way of some of the signers of this wonderful document. It's a pretty did cool you, looking building. Did you, did you find out any other history? About what? About Independence Hall. No? It's just where they did all their meetings and their closed door meetings and then they signed the Declaration of Independence there and they had all their... And then down there in that building is where the, the, the Supreme... The first Supreme Court was. Yeah, I met there. All right. Well, that's all you got. And we're on the road again. Let's go on in and take a look at the bell. Okay. Because that is the symbolism of freedom. During uh, the war, what did they do with the independent? What did they do with the bell? Do you remember? No, do you? Yeah, they hid it in a church so it couldn't be found. Oh, that's right. Do you know why there's a crack in it? Well, apparently, from what you've told me, <laughs> the brass or the metal that was being used when they, they tested it the first time, it cracked. So they had to recast it, I think, two more times. Yes. All right, let's go in and see this thing. All the things that you see in school and you wonder. You go in and see the wonderful bell. Can you going to school out here? Like, you don't have to read about it. You just get in a bus and you go <laughs> learn about it right, right there. You just walk and see where the declaration was signed. Yes. Oh, that's military. Where our, that's where our constitution was signed. Best comment inside that little thing was Liberty Bell symbolizes the world's liberty. I thought that was a very poetic moment in the chaotic world we're in. I thought that was pretty cool. History. Stroll down Walnut, back over. Sounds good. We made it back to our humble abode, RV life. That was a quick little run into Philly to catch some history, so that wasn't too bad. Do you have anything else planned? She doesn't I gotta know. look at my spreadsheet. She's gonna look at her spreadsheet. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay. So you, you, look at you don't know what's You don't next. know. This could be the end of this video. You don't know. We don't know. It could just be the beginning Should I say, of the beginning of another adventure. It could be. Should I just go ahead and say out and then if it doesn't come back then you know it's the end. Ooh, this would be like, you guys were like, is it really out? Is it, or is it? It's that pregnant pause you always talk about. <laughs> out. <laughs>